You've been in so many movies that sometimes I forget. Oh yeah, How to Train Your Dragon. Indeed. That franchise is massive. It is. You are the voice of Hiccup. I know. It's huge with... <laughs> no, let me let me finish. <laughs> you are the voice of Hiccup. Look, you're like, here's yes. some, some lines. We yeah. need you to record Very something. Very cool. Yeah. No, but uh, I would just think, I mean, my kids absolutely went insane. Awesome. They're, they're, they, they, they just went insane for the whole series, and I know kids love that. Kids must lose their minds when they find out that you are Hiccup. Um, in theory, uh, usually what happens is a friend of mine will tell me their kids are big fans and they hear my voice in their car in their house all day and they'll be, uh, here, would you, would, you, would you mind coming to meet my kid? I'm like, hey, daddy's friends with Hiccup. And they'll look up, and, what the hell is this? <laughs> This is, this is you're not, not Hiccup. You're not yeah. Hiccup. This, yeah. is not, this is the most underwhelming thing in the world. And then, and then, and they, and they get me, I'll say, hey, how's it going? And they'll be, oh, doesn't he sound like him? And I can see the kid being like, you know, <laughs> for my benefit, just trying to be like, yeah, I guess, I guess it sounds like him, Dad. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's a terrible, uh, I've had the experience of someone like in a checkout line being like, hey, you're that guy, Ken Conan, yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, hey, hey. You know, my, you know, Susan, look who it is. And she's like, ah. <laughs> yes, and he's like, no, no, tell her who you are. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the best one. It's friends uh, making you, or it's someone it's, else it's making you. It's the worst. And we're like, what? Tell them, I know, what are you from? Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them what you're from. And then I'm like, you want me to list everything yeah, for yeah. the past 20 years? There's a lot of them. And, <laughs> and, that, and that is an exercise in diminishing returns. Because let me tell you, it's never the thing you'll say right. that they recognize you from. Like, what are you from? Uh, I don't know, Tropic Thunder? No, that's not it. This, this, this is the end? No. Well, I'm just getting older. We're both just getting closer to death here in this conversation. So. Well, that's the point I like to get all my guests to on this show. <laughs> We're all getting older and closer to death. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Buckle up. Uh, I, now, you know that you, you, you obviously, you have a, a bit of a Canadian accent. Uh, uh, yeah. And that's not news to you, but I'm told that <laughs> you don't hear it when, you, when you're doing Hiccup, when you're the voice of Hiccup in the How to Train Your Dragon movies, but I understand that you've, you started to sneak it in a little bit towards y the end? Yeah, it was more just kind of like I stopped listening to them when they would tell me that I sounded Canadian. You know, so like on the first movie, I, you know, Got a lot to prove and want to impress everybody. And so every time they say, so Oh, you said tomorrow, you got to say tomorrow or something. Or you said sorry and we say sorry. And so all that stuff. But then as the movies went on, I kind of just stopped really caring. And then I, in fact, <laughs> gave myself the also, mission. Also, you, you, you had like proven yourself. Well, that's it. And I, you know, and I was like, you know, I. I I just decided at a certain point that Hiccup is Canadian, and I, and, <laughs> you know, there's, I have, I, I have no, there's no logic, there's not a paper trail behind that realization, it's just, uh, I just decided it. And I remember in, on the third one, uh, someone said, oh, Jake, we do another take, you sounded kind of Canadian there, and I kind of snapped, I was like, oh, were the Vikings American? I wasn't, I wasn't aware that that's, <laughs> that that's what happened. Um, that's you throwing a fit. <laughs> It's <laughs> a very polite yeah. Jay Baruchel uh, fit that you had there. Grounded in historical accuracy, as always.